Hey, what's up, brothers and sisters? It's me, Verse of the Day. I hope you've been well, and I hope you've been blessed. In today's lesson, we're going to study five reasons why Jesus Christ has to come back. So let's get started. Number one. My favorite reason, and the most obvious reason, is that he said he would. In Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 32, Jesus says, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. Number two. Jesus says that if he did not come back, no flesh would be left alive. In Matthew 24, verses 21 through 22, Jesus says, For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Number 3. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus specifically refers to the prophet Daniel and the writings about the abomination of desolation. Here in Daniel chapter 7 verse 25, Daniel writes, He shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time and times and half a time. We see the prophets being persecuted, the saints being persecuted, and pompous words being spoken against the Most High. And God does not take kindly to that, therefore he will return with judgment. Number 4 Here in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 15-16, through 16, Peter writes about what Paul was saying about how people would twist scripture according to their own desires. Peter mentions here that these are untaught and unstable people that twist scripture to their own destruction as they do the rest of scripture. Number five, Jesus has to come back because he has to make all things new. He is the alpha and the omega that is spoken about by the prophet Isaiah. I wish we had more time to discuss this topic. I hope this Bible study helped you, and may God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.